Hey guys, uh, Josh here. So, what's inside of here right now? I this is the B four fifty Tomahawk. Um, this is the motherboard. Um, I have right now inside the twenty six hundred, the Ryzen twenty six hundred, and right here is the thirty six hundred. No, sorry. Oh man, I would flip that right. Thirty six hundred, twenty six hundred. At this point, they almost seem the same. However, this is something new. Sorry for that, you know, weird sound. I know it always gives that sound. Um, this is something new that I've experienced. Just let me plug this in real quick. Nice. Wrong way. You would think, out of all the things you have to do in life, the last thing that would be hard to do is to plug in a cord. So, turned it on. And boom, this is something I've not seen. Yeah, that's really weird. And I was like, oh, okay, so motherboard wants to go berserk. Um, <laughs> so um, everything in the description, just read it. Just no, just apply that. Um, put the, I had that 3600, or I started when I first got it. I put it inside of, up inside of there. Um, inside the B450 Tomahawk Max. This is also brand new. I put that in there and I ran it and it still gave me the re a red CPU light. Not like this though. It just gave me one red CPU light. And all the stuff, you know, this, you know, like I said, it's new, 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 new. Most of it is all brand new. The only thing that is not new is this B450 and the 2600 Ryzen. I mean, the, yeah, 26 rounds. So, I put, when I tried to put this, um, the 2600 inside of here, inside the B450, it still, um, or as people call, MOBO. <laughs> uh, I, when I put it inside of there, it actually, it acts different. It gives me, um, it gives me just one red CPU light. And I, it also gives me this little, like this lights up. Like before, this wasn't. This doesn't light up. Uh, this just goes crazy mode. But I did flash it. I flash it to the newest version. And for time purposes, let's just say I've went through every single thing very slowly, slowly and carefully, hours and hours of slowly putting things in. I'm talking about very slow. So just to make sure that you know everything was going right, I did also do the resetting of the. CMOS, um, you know, all the whole list and plethora of other things that, you know, people say to try and make sure you do or troubleshooting, if you will. So I tried all that, but that was the newest. That was something new that I didn't notice. Um, just wanted to show that and see what you guys thought about it, <clears throat> what you guys thought about it. And also for both both CPUs, um, they all gave me the same problem with this B450. Uh, it's just really, it's really just bad, and I just don't understand what to really do. I don't, I did say I was going to quit a couple of days ago, but yet here I am. And I also had everything br uh, put away in boxes, and yet it's still out. So, as much as that was going far as to say, I did not give up. So, I need help, and it would be really great if you guys could just give me another idea of what to try or what to do. I've tried a lot of different stuff with the sticks, uh, ram sticks, switching them and everything. So not really sure, I'm kind of lost and I'm gonna try only to roll back a version for this for this motherboard and see if maybe I can run the seat, the this, um, I'm gonna run the 2600 in here and see if it works. If not, I'm just gonna kind of wait it out and try not to, I'm gonna probably return the the, the 3600 and the motherboard as well because it kind of stinks it's like you buy all this parts and you're really thinking that oh it's gonna work and it doesn't but anyway thanks for watching um and hopefully this brings some awareness to this little <laughs> concoction of stuff and i'm not really sure it could be so that both motherboards are just bad i mean i know that this probably was bad uh, I, I know that CPUs are kind of the last thing that goes bad. They're not, they don't, they don't really go bad like that, but these are basically, this is the, the, the 3600 is definitely brand new. The 2600 isn't new, but it 
was only ran once and he just couldn't get it to run again. So I think just I'm not sure, but I think maybe MSI just has bad boards a lot. So, you know, <sighs> thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully this hopefully something comes up and something works. And if it does, I'll, tell, I'll let you guys know. I will be getting another motherboard to see that actually that out, you know, will still be compatible with everything else, but just less expensive. And um, I'll let you guys know if if I even get this to work again or something, if the rollback to the uh, an older version will work for the 2600. And I'll catch you guys later. All right. Peace.